Um, so I am Suzanne Watson and I'm the Managing Director of Approach PR. Approach specialises in managing reputations. We work with brands in the business to business and the business to consumer sector. And it's our job to bring those businesses to life. And that might be through communicating what their key messages are, communicating what their values are, talking about the staff, the people that make the business come alive. And it's all with a view to raising awareness, to educating people and to supporting the customer journey that ultimately encourages people to work with our clients because they understand who they are. And we might use the media for this, we might use social media, networking events, or ideally we use all of those things because PR is literally public relations. It is activities that help you as a business relate to your publics, whoever your key audiences are. And the most powerful public relations harnesses all those elements of communication. Media, newsletters, events, networking, it's all the kind of tools that help you tell a story about your business. And when you tell a story well enough, people trust you and they want to work with you. Um, and I got into PR almost by accident, I suppose. I started off as a journalist in the late 80s. That tells you a lot. <laughs> um, I started out as a journalist because I loved to write. At school, it was all about the written word. And I wanted a career that allowed me to use that written word to the best I possibly could. So journalism was an obvious profession. And I came about that profession through one week's work experience on the Telegraph and Argus in Bradford, which is still a, magazine, uh, still a newspaper that we work with today. So in 1989, I had my first work placement at the Telegraph and Argus in Bradford. And I was part of this busy, vibrant, buzzing newsroom with typewriters. Mm -hmm. um, and I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. So from there, I knew after my air levels, I wanted to go into newspapers. And uh, I worked in North Wales and I worked in West Yorkshire on weekly and evening newspapers. And I did love it. Um, I love the people, I love the stories, I love telling stories. I am inherently nosy in a really positive way. So that meant that I loved to get information from people that helped me to tell a story. And I loved, and as, as awful as it may sound, I loved just seeing my name in lights. I loved seeing my name underneath a new story. And I used to write music columns, I used to write theatre reviews, I would report on court incidences, full council meetings, I would just tell the stories of the community. However, there was a kind of a merciless element to the work that I was required to do. So if there was a nasty accident, I was expected to go and knock on the door of the family whose member had been killed in an accident, the old death knock routine, and I hated that. And the council meetings didn't set my soul on fire, you know, there just seemed a level of not living my dream, but telling other people's stories. And it was only when I started looking into what professions I could use journalism in, that PR materialized. And I learned about PR through a library book. <laughs> That's the days when we used to go to the library. And um, I had to learn what PR was before my first PR interview, you know, and that was in 1992. Um, and I got a job as a junior account executive at an agency in North Wales, a tiny little market town called Mould. And um, that's where my PR journey began.